In this video, I'm going to show you the number one do-it-yourself fix I've done for my Jeep. For 10 years, I dealt with a tire pressure monitor sensor alarm on my dashboard. And this video will show you how I fixed it. All right, a little history behind this tire pressure monitoring system, the flag on my dashboard. So we had a tire replaced, and this was about 10 years ago. And when we drove it off the lot, the light sensor was on. We called the tire store and they said, oh, it takes, you know, 10, 15 miles. Well, we drove 50 miles home, the light was still on. Persisted, went to several stores, tire shops. They all said that all our tire pressure sensors were accurately reading. I took it into the Jeep dealership. They told me that they thought it was something in the uh, system and they could replace a $500 Bluetooth component and that would fix everything. Well, I wasn't about to do that. So we lived with it for 10 years. Well, living with something like that for 10 years is ridiculous. So I took it upon myself one last shot. I had read about all these uh, onboard diagnostic pieces. And so I took a chance. So this video is gonna go through the onboard diagnostic tool that I got and specifically the, the app that's on my phone. It's terrific. So let's get started. So the first thing I did is I got this new OBD2 adapter. This is from Vgate. It's the iCar Pro Bluetooth light for iOS. And um, it was about $30. This was actually referred by the app that I got, which is this OBD JScan, a great app. I'll tell you more about it when I go into the, the review. All right, once you plug the adapter in, it's time to go to the mobile app. As I said, I downloaded OBD JScan. It's a great app. Let's go to open it. Uh, you have several options. We're going to choose the Wrangler JK. You go to the uh, 4.0 Bluetooth, which is what we have for our adapter. It's connecting to the car. I have the car powered on so it can access the computer on board diagnostics. And it brings us to this simple dashboard. You can see it's identified my car, some basic information about it. But now I have the ability to do quick diagnostics. It'll read any trouble codes as if you have the engine light on. Uh, you can hit refresh. No trouble codes at this point. Once you find out you have no trouble codes, that's great. Now you can go back. Now, when you want to look at the tire pressure monitoring system, it's under modules. So we'll go to modules. You can see right there, it's under wireless control, TPMS. We click on that. Now, the easiest way to find it, it's going to give you so many options. We're going to go to live data. And then this uh, red button here, you can select multiple. We're going to choose everything that has to do with the tire. And click select. And then we'll just choose all. So select all and click OK. Now, the easiest way to look is just click this go button. And it's going to query all the values in your car. You can see here that if I scroll down, I can see the value of my tires. It's 33, 35, 33, and 33. Uh, if I scroll down a little further, though, this is where it really uh, showed me where my issue was. So if I scrolled down, I saw when I was having these issues that my tire low pressure threshold for my front and my rear was at either zero or 99. It was not a valid number. So it must have been, you know, something applied to the computer set those values to a value that could never be reached. So that's why I was throwing that indicator all the time. So let me show you how to fix it. This is only the way to read it. Within JScan, uh, we'll stop reading the values. We go back and you go to activations. I'm sorry, you go back to the at adaptations. So if we go to adaptation right there and you scroll down, you're going to see TPMS settings. If we click on TPMS settings, there's several things you can do with your TPMS system, all right? Real simple one, you could use the TPMS on-off. That would be great if you're off-roading and you, you tire down or lower the pressure in your tires. It would be easy not to have that adapter on. But what I found is if I go down a little further, there's this TPMS threshold. And again, when I first pulled this up, it showed front and rear at either 0 or 99. Those aren't even valid uh, settings that I can choose. So to show you guys how to fix it, I threw it at 44 so I can get the low pressure. But let's set it to something that's valuable, like 29, typical reading. And I say done. And then I hit go. 
and it reprograms my system to look for normal levels of air. So I'm telling you guys, for the small investment, it's a $15 license for OBD J scan, and it's a $30 uh, adapter from Amazon. I was able to fix something that I had gone all over the place trying to fix. So hopefully some of you will find this is a similar problem that you've had, and this can help you fix your Jeep vehicle.